we're not entering a world of psychedelic art. Quite the opposite. This is the real world. These crystals are hormones. They control every one of us, every second of our lives. They're the bridge between our inner body and the outside world. They determine when we feel angry and when we feel happy, how tall we grow, what sex we are, and whether to make love or war. These are the chemicals that control the rhythms of our lives. Everyone has a daily rhythm, a natural 24-hour cycle that controls our bodies. The biological clock is usually in the background of our lives. It ticks silently along with the other routine events of the day, waking, eating, sleeping. But it wasn't built to cope with air travel. Changing a wristwatch in a new time zone takes only seconds, but the biological clock can't be reset so easily. As it gradually catches up, we suffer days of tiredness and disorientation. The classic signs of the 20th century affliction, jet lag. Jet lag is a side effect of chemical warfare within our bodies, a clash among the hormones that control the biological clock. The brain has an instant control system, the electrical signals that flash along a network of nerves. A bit slower, but equally important, is our chemical control system. Commands come from several different glands, each pumping out different chemical messengers, the hormones. The pancreas is one gland that's in charge of digesting food. It squirts its hormones into a surrounding labyrinth of blood vessels. Blood forms an ideal delivery system for carrying hormones to all parts of our bodies. Day in, day out, the ebb and flow of hormones in our blood orchestrates our daily rhythms. Any disruption is a serious problem for Chris, a commercial airline pilot. He flies 10,000 miles a week, resetting his watch by several hours every day. Chris copes by always eating and sleeping according to his schedule back home. Passengers arriving in a different time zone don't have it so easy. Their biological clocks have to adjust. If we had only one biological clock inside us, it wouldn't be too difficult. But our bodies have many internal clocks, as different glands keep to their own schedule of producing hormones. At home, Chris's glands naturally work in harmony. They coordinate their activities so that his body is ready for action each morning, setting the fundamental cycle of sleep and wakefulness. Every function of our bodies changes from night to day, and even from season to season, under the influence of the most basic of our body clocks. No springs, no cogs, no hands. This biological masterpiece lies deep inside the brain, in a region called the hypothalamus. Here, two tiny bundles of nerves keep up a daily rhythm, the unceasing tick of the human clock. Like any timekeeper, it must be checked regularly and reset if necessary. This is the job of another region of the brain, sometimes called the third eye. At night, it releases the hormone melatonin.
The production of this hormone stops each morning as soon as our eyes detect daylight. The falling level of melatonin wakes us up. Dawn is constantly resetting Chris's basic clock to a 24-hour rhythm. His brain attempts to keep all his bodily rhythms in order through the pituitary, the master gland. This tiny lump of tissue, weighing only one fortieth of an ounce, has immense power over the whole body. It releases half a dozen different hormones, each with its own task. One of them helps our bodies to grow. But most of them are tailored to trigger other glands lower in the body. The chemical instructions tell these glands to produce their own hormones. As a result, different hormones are at work on different parts of Chris's body at different times of the day. Early each morning, Chris's pituitary targets the pair of adrenal glands, which sit on his kidneys. They tune up his body and mind for a peak performance during the daytime. Hidden under a layer of fat, the adrenal is actually two different glands, one inside the other. The outer layer starts off the daily cycle of hormones. Chris's adrenal glands begin producing the hormone cortisol in the early hours of the morning. It peaked when he woke up. Cortisol is a morning tonic. It provides a burst of instant energy. The 24-hour rhythm of cortisol is set by the time we're young adults. As we get older, it's more difficult to adjust to changes in the regular cycle. When we travel, Cortisol keeps to its old timetable for several days, so adjusting to a long air journey is not just a question of catching up on sleep. The hormones can take a week to sort out their disturbed rhythms. As the morning tonic ebbs away, the inner part of the adrenal gland begins releasing the alertness hormones, adrenaline and noradrenaline. We're departing wrong way, uh, two six left at Gatwick on a sea for departure. The first block altitude is 3,000 feet. Sure. The aids are set as required. Wrong way is dry, the weather's good. Flying a plane can be stressful. Chris relies on the adrenal hormones to keep his mind and body in top form. A sudden threat causes these hormones to rise dramatically, even when the disaster is in a flight simulator. major problem up to 80 knots. Above 80 knots and up to V1, which is 125, will stop only for any fire warning. Adrenaline makes us afraid, and noradrenaline makes us angry. Because they're produced together, we can experience fear and anger at the same time. When we sense danger, the brain sends nerve signals directly to the adrenal gland, triggering an instant surge of these anger and fear hormones. While we are awake, molecules of both hormones are coursing through our veins. These simple chemicals are almost identical. Just one atom separates fear and anger. Flaps. 15 required, gated. They peak when we're under stress. Whatever problems the flight simulator may throw at them, these hormones will help Chris and his co-pilot Tim cope. Normally, the adrenal gland secretes four molecules of adrenaline, our fear hormone, for every one of our anger hormone. But some people produce more noradrenaline than others and have shorter tempers. Still, the anger hormone has its positive side. Noradrenaline keeps us alert and helps us concentrate. The pilot of a 757 with 200 passengers on board, confronted by an engine fire on takeoff, needs to be in top form. Thrust set. 
80 knots. Okay. 